Good afternoon and uh, welcome, different venue, uh, <laughs> to my daily broadcast. It's talking about trust today, that's the topic, and maybe some insights that might help you have better luck in your relationships. So today's episode 722, excuse me, 723, and the topic today is do you not trust your relationships and here's why. Uh, I'm going to offer some suggestions, some tips, some keys to help you have more trust in your relationships, both in and out, and I'll explain that as well. So before I jump into the topic, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping my clients, particularly women, create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the, for the divine. I try that one again. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I work with women so much. And also, what inspired these talks I started over two years ago called "Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart." Today we're on the topic of trust, and I thought I'd talk about this because, frankly, um, there's a. I'm going to use this as an example. There's a much bigger. Let me, let me say it this way: What I'm going to talk about is trust in relationships, trust that you have with yourself, and lack thereof. But it also applies. Sorry, the. What I'm going to explain to you applies to other issues you may have in your relationships as well. I think I made that clear. So if you're an experienced way in your relationships, whether it's intimate relationships, whether it's employer, employee, employer relationships, or family relationships, um, whether there's trust missing or trust violated, first of all, you're not alone. It happens quite a bit. Second thing is though, is that the trust issue may not be outside there, it may be inside of here. I'm, I'm cutting to the chase right away, so just so you know. But the trust is, generally speaking, self-generated and I've been talking about this a lot recently about the self-centric focus of life of love of having healthy relationships starting with the one inside this is no different in a sense because the trust you have excuse me the lack of trust you have with people out there is often reflected out there from the trust or lack of trust you have within you so in romantic relationships for example as we put it that place if you've noticed that you're in a relationship where you can't trust your partner First of all, check to see if this is the first relationship that's happened in. If it is, that's good news. Because the odds are likely it's something that person did and something to do with you, actually, which is good news. Rare, but good news. However, if you find yourself um, not having trust in your relationships, plural, as in the last relationship, the one before that, the one before that, the one before that, then there's a problem, problem that's showing up that is more likely to do with you, not to do with them. Well, it's, well, it's to do with them. However, they didn't um, cause that issue. They just, I'm trying to say it the right way. They didn't cause the issue that you're having with trust. They simply reminded you of the issue you have already. That's a better way of putting it. So what's it going to do with anything? Well, the good news is if the trust issue is inside of you, not inside of them, and they're just reflecting back to you what's not working inside of you, you can do something about that. You can actually transform your experience of trust without anything to do with anybody else. Now, this also, as I said, can bleed through into other areas of relationship, not just romantic, but business relationships, family relationships, social relationships even. But if there's a distrust or a lack of trust pervasive through many of those, it's definitely a good time to look inside and see what's going on inside of you. The reality is when you're having problems trusting other people, multiples, not just one, nine times out of ten, I keep, using that, I keep using that number nine times out of ten. <laughs> it's like I've done, social, done research. I'm guessing it's nine times out of ten, just to be transparent. Nine times out of ten, that distrust is based upon the fact that you can't trust yourself or you won't trust yourself, it's more accurate. And if I, if I was to we work my way down that path, down to the core of this, mess, this teaching or to the issue you're dealing with, it's usually one of two things. That distrust you have that's within you is quite possibly because of something happened when you were very young that where you violated the trust of somebody else or you were doing something that you realized you didn't trust yourself because you, you didn't get your agreement or you violated some, some rule and you can't trust yourself since that point because you didn't believe you were trustworthy. It could be something where you're parent or somebody older than you trusted you to hold something and you dropped it. It could be that simple. Like you, you, you were given a vase to hold on to and you dropped it and it broke and they were upset and ranting and raving at you 
and what you took in as a program is obviously I'm not trustworthy. I can't trust myself and that's the rule you run. If you understand that, under that experience and if something like that happened where it was a one time instance that triggered this, then you see how insane that is to use that as a way to guide the rest of your life. I'll get to that in a moment though. The second instance I was talking about when you were younger is where you had people around you like parents that you felt didn't provide you with trust. Maybe the relationship in your parents was they, they separated or they divorced and you couldn't trust the stability of the relationship they had and trust the family dynamic you were in because it was not stable, for example. Or it could be something where your dad kept promising you things or your mother kept promising you things time and time again but they never delivered. So you couldn't trust them anymore. See, trust is a very pervasive and a very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very involved, maybe a word of putting it, quality in every relationship. Trust is vital in so many areas of life. But the biggest trust or the biggest component of trust is trust within yourself. So going back to what I said, when you were younger, if it was something where you were um, either found you were in an environment with parents or adults that you couldn't trust because they didn't keep follow through on agreements, they didn't, sorry, I'm banging the table, this is a resting horse, it's bouncing, let me leave that alone. Um, or it's something you did that was, I don't say berated, but it was like you were given feedback that you couldn't be trusted. Either way, you're carrying that belief that distrust, or I should say the belief that trust isn't available from childhood through to adult life. Now, if you are someone who's an adult who has issues with trust, I was just looking back at those possible instance, instances. That, that side, yeah. <laughs> Which you might, where I put my map on the screen. Looking back at your, your past when you were younger, that maybe your trust wasn't solid enough. I know I've had some of my own sh stuff show up because things happened when I was in my early teenage years, and I remember this now. Something happened in my family where the trust was violated, and so I became uh, distrustful around certain things that reminded me of that situation. So I know this personally. I'm not saying anything about anything else, because I want, I want to protect the innocent. <laughs> Just to be bright, keep it private. But I'll make sure you understand that this happens to a lot of us. So if you're having challenges with trust as an adult, I would suggest it's time to go back and look and see we have trust issues when you're younger. Either you don't trust yourself because something happened for you, or you don't trust your parents or adults around you when you're younger because the big people should be trustworthy. But you got violated or your trust got violated, either way. Now, trust is a fundamental, fundamental component of having a healthy life, of living a healthy life, of being a healthy person. Because when you don't trust things, it's hard to eat the right foods, it's hard to have healthy relationships, it's hard to take care of yourself because you don't trust your follow through. It's really interesting when you start writing down, well, I'm going to go work out, the, or you promise yourself you're going to get up at 7 a.m. in the morning, not hit the snooze alarm, go to the gym, work out and exercise. The next morning you wake up, you hit the snooze alarm five times, you forget what time it is, you, go, you, you grab your coffee and run to work, you don't even go to the gym. Your trust is violated many, many times. Every single day you don't keep your agreements. So knowing that, it's important to realize that you can rebuild your trust. You can actually restore and in some ways create new levels of trust by changing some things around. And again, part of that is because of your childhood wiring. And I talked about the childhood piece a lot, but I want to use it for this example because trust is a big one. Trust is an issue for many, many people. And oftentimes it ties back to something that happened very young. And as I mentioned, if you keep getting relationships that keep repeating where the trust is an issue, it's probably because you're bringing the lack of trust yourself into that relationship. So you're creating, you're creating partnerships, you're attracting partners who themselves are mirroring back to you that lack of trust. So again, it's not about them, it's about you. You've got to be willing to look into this if you want to change your future. Now, if you want to keep repeating the lack of trust, go right ahead. But if you want to change it, this is a clue, is going back to see where your sense of trust disappeared or was violated or broken or disavowed, however that was. It's a powerful place to rebuild your trust for yourself. And I have some tools that work with that. So if you want some help, I can let you know. It's also part of my course. And I've mentioned this course a few times, but I'm going to put it out again. Um, Coming Home to Yourself is my, my program, my group program that keeps giving me great teachings to share on this in this format because there's so much good value in it. There's over a dozen different components that will help the people in the group. And if you want to be in the group, you can be to totally change over or transform or shift the paradigm they have of their own relationship with themselves in life and in love. I have to like it a lot. 
I'm kind of biased. I'll put a link in the comments so you can check it out later on. It's, it's a powerful course. But the thing about it is, when you learn to trust yourself, everything else starts to fall into place. It's like dominoes in a way. It's like that first domino is building trust. Actually, it's probably this third one because there's love and there's support. And, yeah, trust is one of the first ones. <laughs> when you start trusting yourself, the dominoes start to line up and they fall smoothly through into the future of where you want to go. And if you want more help with that, again, I'll put a link in the comments for my new course, Coming Home to Yourself. And also, um, I'll put a link in there to reach out to me if you want to get some help, a contact form so you can reach out for, for support. I'm also aware that trust is an issue right now because of what's going on with the Me Too movement. And not just the Me Too movement, but the after effects and the post initial shock of that conversation that's happening now. There's stuff in the news right now with various people who have violated trust or have been accused of violating trust either way. So to trust certain people, certain leaders can be, can be challenging. And so this topic is right on the top of mind for me. That's why I'm talking about it. And again, I had my own experience when I was younger of having trust violated. So I understand how it feels to be on the, not the wrong side, but the losing side of trust or lack or distrust rather. I don't know, again, let's, you know, I'm going to talk about that. All right. So I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's really it because I want to get this message out so that you can really see how trust can be transformed. If you have an issue with trust, it doesn't have to stay that way. Again, what I'm offering in... In, my, in the comments will be things you can reach out to me or check out my course because those will help you. And bottom line is, when you know that you have an issue with trust, the key is to look inside. I mean, look inside and, and view or check over, check over? You view and you review, view, review, yeah, okay. Something like that. When you do go back and look at your own life and you see where those trust um, violations were, you can do something about them. But if you're looking to keep going forward blindly without checking into that, it's going to keep happening. It's part of the challenge of relationships in a way is that if you don't deal with the stuff that keeps getting thrown up in a relationship in front of you, it's going to keep getting done again and again and again until you're willing to go back and look at the source of where it started. Because again, if those issues, in this case trust, is being violated again and again and again in every relationship, it's nine times out of ten, 99 percent of the time in fact, going to be something you can solve inside yourself and then the people out there will change to match that. It's possible. And I think that's what I want to say today. Just trying to get this out. So we can broadcast this one casual and also my friend's cat setting. So hence the different backdrop. Um, but I hope this has been of value to you. Simple teaching, simple reminder. Trust can be something you can change the relationship with and change your relationships going forward with Trust Incorporated. I made my point. I thank you for watching. Appreciate you being with me as always. This is my daily Facebook Live. I do it at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day, every day of the week, including weekends. Um, you can find my broadcasts. There's another thought in there? No. You can find my broadcasts on my personal page if you watch me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Uh, replays go to my business page, which is uh, barryselby.author, and also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. If you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, uncertainties, information we'll share, please do so below and I'll respond when I sign off. And again, I'll put a link in the comments so you can reach out to get a chat with me if you want to talk and also my Coming Home to Yourself course because that will help you as well. With that, thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow with episode 724. Um, I think that's about it. Take care of yourself, please. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.